What's good everybody? It's your boy Goofball Gaming back again with another video and today we're finally coming out with the almighty video all right we're gonna come out with the sniping filters cheap beast videos and tips and tricks on how to actually play madden mobile all right this is my main game from here this is like my favorite game probably of all time man madden mobile is sick but let me just show you guys my team here first i have julio jones odell aj green my running backs david johnson um from the hero set russell wilson and uh, my defense is Pat P, Tyron Matthew, Chris Harris. I got Kawan Shore. I actually pulled an Aaron Donald yesterday, but I didn't get it on recording, which is which sucks so much. Aaron Donald, I literally freaked out for Aaron Donald, man. 90 overall defensive tackle, like that's sick. 90 overall, like Jesus Christ. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna show you guys the sniping filters first. All right, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and yeah, let's get straight into it. So the first filter here, as y'all can see right here on your screen, I'm just claiming these gold trophies right here because it has something to do with trophies. All right, we're not gonna snipe trophies because no, trophies are, to be honest, there's, it's it's too popular. Like, that's the key to sniping, all right? You guys don't wanna snipe popular uh, uh, filters, whether it's gold players for two, like, for like 1K or something. Like, there's so many people on that. And it just, it's, it's just slower. So you wanna snipe filters that are, uh, more in depth, more detailed, which uh, gets you more coins and is actually faster. So the first one, we're actually gonna snipe gold players. Yes, I know, I just said don't snipe gold players. We're gonna snipe gold players for just 2,000 to 2,500. And I can get around of 20 to 30 per round. Okay, and what you're gonna do with these players, all right, which another gold trophy, there you go. So what you're gonna do with these players is you're gonna go to set and you're gonna go to the gold players trade in set, all right? And once you're here, right, you claim it and you get 10 trophies each pack. Now, elite trophies right now are going for 20K because of X Factor, uh, Flashback Fridays. You know, there's a ton of excitement for elite trophies right now because they're really valuable right now and they can get you a ton of good stuff. So you really wanna do this because then you can come, like, look at this, man. There's so many for 2,500. All right, you know what? I'm just gonna open one for you guys. All right, I'll show you guys what you can get. All right, guys, so I have my 10 players right here. Now, keep in mind that this set, you can get really unlucky. Like, I've gotten really unlucky a, a ton of times, like bronze trophies and silver trophies. But here we go, guys, 10 trophy pack right here. You know, let's see if I can get lucky on, oh, there you go. There's an elite trophy, there you go. Oh my God, boys, see, see that right there? Do you see that right there? We just got three elite trophies in one. Now, if I sold this, that's 20. That's 40, and that's 60, that's 60K. And I bought the pack for 25K. So it's an easy 35K right there. That just shows you guys how much coins you can make from this set. Next one you wanna do guys is, this is what I started out the game with. Um, I went to positions and I just look at all the positions and you know, there's obviously one right here, which is kickers and punters, all right? Now the gold ones, there's actually a ton. There's a ton from ranging from 75 to 79. So you wanna go probably like 10K, and uh, you wanna go 75 to 79, because there's some higher ones that just really aren't snipeable, like there's people with bots on this game. This is a really effective filter because not a lot of people are actually on kickers and punters, you know? They're not really an interesting position into the game. More people are into the wide receivers, you know, the quarterbacks, the running backs, the safeties, the cornerbacks. So not a lot of people pay attention to the punters and kickers. So this is a really good filter right here. Um, fortunately, it's not actually sniping time right now, so. Uh, I'm not gonna snipe this. I'm not gonna get a live snipe here, but this is one of the great filters you can use. Next one, guys, you wanna bid. This is called bid sniping, but we're gonna bid for a bit lower. You know, not a lot of people will bid for silver players. You know, people will usually bid for gold players, you know, elite players, because they wanna win them. But for silver players, what you wanna do is you wanna bid for a couple, but let's just see, let's just see if I can, let's see if I can buy one right now. So if I buy one right now, it's gonna cost me around 600 coins, I believe to buy one of these silver players. So if you guys just snipe one, if you guys bid snipe one for like 300, you know, this would be great because you're only spending 3,000 coins on the set, which I'm pretty sure everyone has started out the game right. So right now, guys, actually I had three, I had two already on my bench, but I'm gonna add the silver player and I'm just gonna see what I can get from the six trophy set. Keep in mind that this set could go for around 3K if you actually did it. And there you go, guys. We got five silver trophies and each of these sell for around 1K. But if you convert them together, you get 5K 
from the gold trophy. So that's easy 2K right there for all the people that just have a low amount of coins. You know, it's really simple to make coins from sets like these ones right here, bronze, silver, gold, and like it's it's really easy money right there. All right, guys, so the next filter you wanna go with, 79 halfback, quarterback, wide receiver, gold players for maximum 4K, all right? These are the players you can get here. Vincent Jackson, you can get Carlos Hyde, CJ Anderson there. I could pick up that CJ Anderson, but you know, I don't really want to do that right now. Derek Carr is a great one. Quarterbacks usually go for a ton. Matthew Stafford there. But this filter is great. After you sell it, you can sell these for around 6K, I believe. Uh, which is what, what happened at the beginning of the game. Now, whoa, like these these are dropped a lot, all right? So you guys want to snipe these for like 2K, 2.5. You know, you get these because people won't find this filter and they'll do the gold players one. So there will be like a ton mixed in with these so if you guys are on these you guys are the first ones here so you guys can snipe these really quick really easy uh and it's just mad coins next up guys for probably like the more advanced people at sniping we're gonna go gold players and we're gonna go 81 all right yeah we're going we're moving on to the big leagues all right boys we're gonna go 81 wide receiver quarterback and halfback because we don't want Eric Decker or Michael Floyd. And there you go, guys. John Brown is 15K, I believe, right now. So this this filter works really well. I mean, really well. Like you could pick up some 83s that are and 84s even that are like huge. You know, you could, you could pick up like Lamar Miller. You could pick up uh, Allen Robinson, Devontae Freeman. Those are a bit hard to snipe because there's usually bots here. But what I like to do is snipe at weird times of like the day and um, because weird times, you know, not a lot of bots will be active. Not a lot of people will be on the game. You snipe them, but then you keep them on your bench. Yo, a ton of people are here, right? Then you sell them for high prices and they'll go for so much. So it's just easy coins here. As you guys can see, there are a ton of 82s and 81s here. So you can snipe these really easy. Uh, there's a Lamar Miller there, Keenan Allen, G Giovanni Bernard, uh, Andy Dalton, John Brown. No, you can snipe these Amari Coopers and stuff like that, you know, but this is a really easy set for me because um, if once you have a lot of coins, you can just keep going with this set and you'll roll on. All right. So there's another filter. Next one, guys, you want to go season and you want to go 4K. All right. The only reason we're doing this right now, as you can see, there are a ton on the market. See, I can snipe this DeMarco Murray here right now for 2.5 right there. Easy. And I, you know what? I'll take this Jared Cook as well because the only reason you're going to snipe these is because you're going to wait till flashback. Friday comes out and once Flash Rick Friday comes out like last week you're gonna these are gonna sell for 8k and once if you keep sniping these you know wait till that day comes you'll probably make a lot of money all right so this is another filter and this goes for all the elite collectibles for flashbacks all right because it only comes out on Friday the uh, and the set you need uh, elite collectibles right so you can snipe trophies and then you can snipe these and then sell them on Flash Rick Friday or you can use them you know potentially pull a good player so this is another easy set and this will probably be the last set. All right, guys, the first cheap beast I'm gonna go with is Ezekiel Elliott. He's a 77 overall halfback. He is 89 speed, which is the highest overall for gold players, all right? 89 speed, 89 ball carrier vision. Doesn't have very good catch, but I'm pretty sure anyone can catch the ball. 84 carry, so he doesn't fumble. And he has 87 excel. It's a perfect card for you to start off your team. Guys, next cheap beast you want to go with is Marcus Mariota, 76 quarterback. He has 85 speed. You can snipe these for a 12K max. And another quarterback along the lines is Tyrod Taylor. He goes for less. So I think Tyrod Taylor. Oh, whoa, whoa. Phil, boy, why is Phil Taylor making the hell? But best bet is probably Tyrod Taylor. 84 speed. He's a bit cheaper, I'd say, than uh, Marcus Mariota. So this is probably the best bet. But if you can get Mar Marcus Mariota, he's a really good card. Uh, you can just hail Mary, then bang, scramble, and you're off. Off to the races, bro. So these fast quarterbacks really help. Next card, guys, I will go with Stefan Diggs. All right, I started using Stefan Diggs early on in the game. And man, I could, all I can say is this card is just a beast. All right, he has... 87 speed, 88 agility, 87 acceleration, 83 catch, 81 jump, 83 elusiveness. Like, it's just, he's a really good balanced out card, and I really highly recommend this card if you're going to start out a good wide receiving card. Stefan Diggs is definitely a player you want on your team. Next card you guys want as a cheap beast is Devontae Parker, 88 speed, 88 acceleration. He's a great card here. Um... Well, I, I used Devontae Parker for only around two games in my season games. 
And what I can say is this guy drops a lot of balls, but he's always open. He only he pretty much only drops two on ones. All right, if you have one on one, he will literally run past the cornerback and catch that thing. Like Devontae Parker is a really good card, and thankfully, right next to him is Marcus Wheaton, another card I start out the game with. Marcus Wheaton's always that good card. You can put him in the slot, run deep attack, and he just runs that post and bang, bullet pass right to him. And you got like good 40 yards with you and you can get a touchdown from that. So guys, the last cheap beast I'm gonna go with is TJ Yeldon, all right? He has 86 speed, 86 carry, 87 excel, 82 agility. He basically has high stats on all the stats you need for a running back, all right? So I highly recommend this card right here, TJ Yeldon. He's a great card. I use him. He always he trucks anybody he sees in sight. All right. So this is the last cheap beast I'm going to give you guys. And yeah, man, that's probably going to be it for the video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure y'all leave a like. Make sure y'all subscribe. And guess what? The goof is out. Peace.